So just hold on for a little while, beloved. It's coming. And if you don't see me help to, uh, to attain it, it will be attained. Quick. Uh, just, say, just want to say with respect to that, uh, because the works of the Prophet Noah Ali and more science are becoming more public now, whereas maybe 10 years ago, one out of 10 of us know, now maybe three or four out of 10 of us know about this one of us. It's forcing masonry, especially from the European side, which is the conceit, the concealment of the defeat of the Moors to come to the, to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And as, as we await to our Moors heritage and knowledge, mm -hmm. the jig is up. Now the Moors heritage has now even got a greater shot in the arm because a brother named Horace Butler, I want you to put that name down. He's a little bit religion. You know, he's reading the Bible and all that. But what he has found in the Bible and what he has found out has turned the archaeological world upside down. Brothers and sisters, he has proof that Heliopolis is not in Africa. He has proof that the city of Memphis is never in Africa. That it was over here in the Yucatan Peninsula. And that Herodotus was not speaking about the free pyramids because he spoke about them being stepped and with a temple sitting on top of each one of them. And the only place you see that is over here. Wow. So the city of the sun, Heliopolis, was called the city of Chihudi. And the city of Chihudi was called Tehotihuacan. Let me say that again. Tehutihuacan. Everything happened over here. Everything. And the thing was that during the Reconstruction, the Pope flipped the script and told everybody that new borders will be written, new realities will be, will be superimposed, and what you see as the so-called Mexicans today are not the Mexicans of the early years. Because Cortez's people were, were documenting who was there, and Cortez said that Montezuma, ever heard of him? Uh, yeah. Stand up, brother. I'm looking at your, looking at your king. Yes. No, no, that's you. Blue black. Yeah, you, brother. Yes. That Cortez said that Montezuma looked like him. Wow. The original Montezuma. By the way, the original name of Mexico was Mulan. Not only Mulan, it was called Mexico. Mexi was the name of a, of a Kemetic king. Co was the name of a country, land. The word land, Co means land. Wow. So the land of Mexi. In fact, Montezuma confessed that his people weren't from there. Montezuma said that his people originated with the with the empire of the Mali. So let me just close this out by saying, first and foremost, I'm thankful and I want to offer this as a remuneration. If you can do with the donation, I'm going to get rid of these. This was one of my original gifts to sisters, and I know I've done it before. And I'm selling these off at about three to five dollars if you can stand it, because we want to raise as much as we can to get out of Dodge. And it has something in here. This is my artwork. This I drew, and these words I wrote. And they have a meaning for the sisters and the brothers. And I ask that you participate in my journey to the next level by keeping this in your home, reading it, becoming part or one with it. I have here also my DVD tape lists of all the works that I've done up to this point that I feel uh, can be marketed, because a lot of them are not bringing, not bringing properly. And with that, what I want to do is to ask in the final stages that my queen join me in that
ask the government, ask your madness every day of paying rent, dealing with the pressures of your society. Yes. I want to do something and introduce to you one of the most powerful sisters that you don't know about. This sister taught for 13 weeks spiritual sovereignty at a level that will blow most of the brothers who think they know mind who are Moors. The Moors think they got all the knowledge necessary for navigation. Well, they haven't sat down and talked with this sister. She has presently the 13-week sets ready for sale to show you how to navigate this system because get ready, they're ready to lock you down. She will teach you all the ways that this society is about to do that. And you can get in touch with her at Ashira at earthlink.net. And she could pass them out. And with that, I want to also bring together here this brother here. And where's my brother Chris? Where's my daughter and my son? Come here. All right. We're all coming here. All the people that have been in my life and have been energizing me. Where's Sarnetta? Where he at? He's on the camera. Oh, he got the camera. He's going to have to hold it down. And you got to just believe me that he's in the house. Brothers and sisters, where all you at? Let me see. Where's this one? How many's here? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, should we get brother? Oh, come. This is my family here. Come on here. Dr. Ann Brown. Come on down here. Come on down, family. Come on down here. Where's my where's my godson? Oh, there he is. I don't see him. Come on down here, Leon. Now you know what? I could have possibly just turned the camera on everybody here. <laughs> because all of you, brother, come on down. Brother Atu, come on down here. This is the brother who taught me the science of agriculture. When I used to burn it every week, every the beginning of every year to do a reading of the year, mm -hmm. and everybody used to come to the center inside of the Great Pyramid. This brother's a powerful spirit. Come join us, brother Atu. I don't know who else. Come on down here, brother. <laughs> Come on down here, brother Maurice. I know I'm gonna have everybody down here in a minute. <laughs> Come on down here, brother. I want you to introduce you to a very positive brother, Brother Todd. If you think about positive brothers, young, when you're looking for somebody who's going to say, oh, God damn, what's the youth coming to? This is what the youth is coming to, right here. Right here. This is what the youth is coming to. If there's somebody who I have not reached, where's Nkosi? Where's Nkosi behind me? He's here. Nkosi Kimati was here. Powerful brother who used to be a miner for information. A sister named Sister Medina Renee, who used to mine information and get it for me so that I could get it up here for you. All of the trackers, all of the metaphysical trackers out there. I give thanks and praise to you. And if I'm blowing off steam and seem like I'm here too long, it's because I have so much love for everything that you have given to me. We love you Sister too, Phil. Love you. All love of the love too. that we shared back in the days when we were building Heal Thyself. Yeah. And what it came to be self-healing education temple. With that, I'd love to say I'd hate to leave you, but I gotta go. I gotta go. Sue Tech! Sue <laughs>